It's Sunday, finally, my day off. Maybe I'm a little too loud. I never know if I'm too loud and my neighbors can hear me or this place has no, like nothing in it and it's very, very echoey, so. Um. <laughs> But anyway, it's Sunday, my first day off. Oh, I'm so excited to sleep, finally sleep. Um, I slept till like 2.30 p.m., which is insane. I kept waking up, but then I was like, no, 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 go back to sleep, you have the day off. So I did that. And then I stayed for a bit just to wake up. Um, and at like three and a bit, I went out and I looked around. I wanted to like discover the area, so I said, for 30 minutes, I'm going to go straight in one direction and then come back after those 30 minutes. So I know kind of where I am. I don't get lost and I see the area and there was this huge like street where there are like shops everywhere uh, on both sides. And I was just, I'm so glad I went because now the place just seems more familiar. I'm more used to it, even though I still don't understand anything. Um, but it was nice to just look around and I just, I, I don't know, I loved it. Uh, there are so many places that sell seafood, like in the actual water you'd have the um, different shrimps or crabs, they have so many crabs. Uh, I don't, I've never eaten them like that, I don't know how to cook them or like what to do with them, but I will look it up and maybe one day I'll buy it and try it. Um, but there are so many places and so many places where you can enter and order food, but for me that's still intimidating because one, I don't know what food to buy, and second, I don't know how to buy it. One day I will enter and be like, pointing at a thing and I was like, this one, but today is not that day. I was also very exhausted, I was like, I had an objective. Um, so that's what I did and I bought a ton of things, I spent a lot of money, but Again, my apartment is still very empty. There are a lot of basic necessities I need and I still don't know like the shops and the usual prices. So maybe for some things I spent more, but I, I still don't know anything. So that's that. But let me show you what I spent. And for things I remember what I paid or I have the receipt, because not all places give receipts. Um, I think you can ask, I don't know how, um, but all of the things I paid for, I paid on WeChat. So I don't know if on WeChat it shows you what you bought. I don't know. I don't know. But um, like, let me show you what I bought. So first, I entered like one of those... It's like a market, but it's enclosed. And you enter and there's a bunch of vendors inside. So I entered one of those and I bought sugar. I, I don't need it at the moment, but you always need sugar in the house, so I got some sugar. Um, then I got ketchup. I got ketchup. I got the Heinz kind. Um, they had some others, but this is an international brand, so I have a little more trust that it will be a taste similar to what I'm used to, even though I know, I know, it's ketchup, but they always change the taste. And I know that even Coca-Cola is the same brand, but it's different tastes in different countries. But I just, <laughs> I need something familiar, okay? So I got this one. Uh, it also has the cap, so obviously I got this one. Um, then I got some black pepper. I finally found it. So now I have both salt and pepper. I'm a happy little person. Uh, I will buy <laughs> more spices as I go along, but for now, just having salt and pepper is an achievement because it took me so long to find just the pepper and the salt as I was just like, ugh. But I have them now. Um, then I got the final thing in here is apple cider vinegar. Um, again, had to Google Translate this, but there is a picture of apples, so yay. <laughs> um, and I do have a receipt from this place, I think. Or is it the bananas? No, I think it's from this. And I would tell you what all the prices are, but it's in Chinese, so I will have to translate it. Maybe when I do the editing, I'll add everything at like a corner or something, because right now I'm confused. But I think, so for the bananas, I got the bananas and I paid 10, 12 yuan. So it's a pretty 
pretty good price. I think it's like that everywhere. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. But this is how much I paid and I really <laughs> wanted a familiar fruit. So I got this one. And it's also easy to take it with me to the kindergarten when I have like a break to eat. Um, so I went for the bananas. Then I went and got some clementines. These things, I got clementines. I don't know if they're clementines or mandarins. I just needed something fresh that will also like, I don't know, fresh, stingy. And I also have a bit of a cold, so I thought these would be amazing. And I saw a pomegranate. Now my favorites are like my favorite fruit ever are pomegranates, but I'm used to the red kind. I don't think I've ever tried this one, so I'll give this a try and see how it is. Hopefully really good. Um, is it moldy on top? I don't know. I will try it. Hopefully it's good and tell you how it is. And here I paid, I think I paid 10 pence, 10 yuan for the bag. Then I paid 14.53 for the clementines yeah for the clementines or whatever they are and then i paid six for the pomegranate yes that's how much i paid so that's these ones and then what did i get and then uh there was like a lady on the street there were multiple vendors on like the street uh but from one lady i got no that's wrong where is it? Yeah, this one. I got this from that lady. I got exactly one tomato and one cucumber to make a uh, tomato and cucumber salad. And for this, I paid, I didn't pay a lot. Like I paid, I think I paid 350 for these two. Um, yeah, I think I paid 350 for these and then from another um, vendor, I bought one uh, onion. Yes, I bought one onion and I paid 50 pence. I don't know how you say 50, 0.5 yuan. This is, it was so cheap, <laughs> like so cheap. Um, and then I only bought one because I don't want to buy too much of too many things and then let them go bad. I'd rather just buy them as I go along so they're like the freshest and I also am sure to eat it because I just, I don't want to throw things away. Um, that's like an objective of mine. Um, and then from another store I got kitchen paper towels because I, I found out that I desperately need it. Um, and I got some bread, look at this. This was pretty expensive. Uh, I, I don't have a receipt here. And honestly, I don't remember how much it is. I'll, I'll have to look at the app. But this was pretty expensive. I don't know why, but and look how tiny this is. Uh, finding bread in China is an entire endeavor. I understand. I understand. It's China. It's a different country. You can't expect to have the same things. But I miss bread so much. Uh, so I really, really hope this isn't the sweet kind. Because I know a lot of places... Well, I know, I, I, I haven't seen bread that much um, in here, but I know a lot of people say that there's a lot of sweet bread in Asia, and I hope this isn't sweet, but like the bread I'm used to, and if I really can't find bread, I might have to start baking my own. The problem is, I don't have an oven. <laughs> I realize that I don't have an oven, so that is a problem, but I might either buy a bread machine if I'm desperate or buy like a, a counter oven. I know they have that since I do love baking. So we'll see. I'll have to <laughs> have to see how long I stay here for, okay? And how desperate I get. But I also bought bread, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, after that, what else did I buy? I bought eggs. You can also buy them buy the egg. I'm not sure if that's cheaper or not, um, but I got these. They're easier to get. I don't know why, but a lot of places like that I go to, even a lot of convenience store, they don't have them packaged in like cartons of 12 like I'm used to or like 30. I saw one supermarket uh, where I bought this um, and they were packed 
in a pack of 30, but I thought that was too much, but I don't really see them packed in cartons. Um, a lot of them are just like this, um, or just in a giant box and you have to get as many as you like, which is fantastic, but it's just something I noticed. It's not a bad thing, just something I noticed. But for these, I paid 20 yuan, which is way cheaper than I'm used to in my country. Though I must say, I don't know how many eggs are in here to say that they are cheaper. I will have to count. And then I bought these. I bought a pack of um, individual yogurts with different kinds of fruit. Um, I think I paid 13.90 or 13. Yeah, I think that, that's how much I paid for these. Um, and I just, it's convenient to have. You can never go wrong with yogurt. Um, so I got this. And then from another one of those vendors at the market, I got this meat. See, it's like this. They're like thin slices. I think people eat like hot pot with these or stuff like that, but I thought, <laughs> especially in the mornings, I can just fry two eggs and have two of these and I'll be perfect. Uh, for these, I paid 39.70. So that's how much I paid. Again, don't know if it's cheap, don't know if it's expensive. I just really needed some meat and this is what I got. So after I got all these, I came back home because my arms were hurting by how heavy everything was. And again, I thought I'd go 30 minutes up and 30 minutes back and that I was like very close to home. So I came and put everything, I put the meat in the freezer, the yogurt in the um, fridge and my drink that I got. I also got this, don't know if I told you, I got this. I paid three yuan for this, that is insane. Uh, this was at uh, an offer. Um, all their other drinks were like 8 yuan, but that's still insanely cheap. Uh, I think the place I went to is like a dumpling place, but they also make drinks. And this plastic, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's such good plastic as well. It's not like the ones you get at places like Starbucks that you just, they're very flimsy. This is like really good. So uh, maybe tomorrow I'll go there and get some dumplings as well and try them out and get another drink because uh, they all looked amazing in the picture and I do kind of want to try them. Um, it will also give me a reason to just go out and explore the area some more. So this is what I got. A lot of progress was done today. I am exhausted, like so exhausted and <laughs> I don't know. I was just really happy to have finally a day off. Um, I'll have to see what I do tomorrow. Maybe make a plan, maybe just do whatever but yeah we'll see how that goes and i think i will end this vlog here because it might be getting a bit long like 100 percent um so thank you for watching please give it a like if you liked it please subscribe if you want more content i'm here for hopefully a really long time so <laughs> uh at one point i will show you around as well i just have to get more familiar with the area and not be as embarrassed because I am the only foreigner around that I have seen so far. So a lot of people tend to look <laughs> at me whenever I go around. So um, it is a bit daunting still to film in public, but I will do that at some point. And please comment below, uh, whatever you want. Um, I'm excited to read anything you write. So I will see you next time, hopefully. Okay, <laughs> so I'll end it here. Bye bye. Remember when I said goodbye? Well, I lied. Uh, there are a lot of videos online that you had to season your walk, so that's what I'm trying to do right now. I just hope I don't burn it <laughs> or I don't mess it up, so then I'll need to buy a new one. But let's try to season the walk. It says to heat it till it's, um, let me show you, till it changes color. It's already doing that. Can you see that? Like here around the edges. And you have to do that like all around the entire thing and and then do it with oil and then wash it again and do it with oil again. And I was just like, I really hope I don't mess this up. But look, it's changing the color over there. And if you season it correctly after you season it, it's supposed to not stick again, like anything to it. So I'll try to do the proper thing, but if it doesn't work, 
that will just mean I'll need to buy a new wok, which I hope <laughs> I hope won't be the case, but I'll do my best to season it appropriately so that I can um, fry some eggs afterwards. So let's hope for the best. Okay, I'll put you there while I try to season my wok. So I don't think that's how you season a walk. <laughs> I almost burned down the apartment, which less than ideal. Look at this. It's black. I mean, they're supposed to be like that, but I don't think that's the process. Um, the outside does look a little better, I think, but now I just have to let it cool down, wash it, and then pray for the best that at least it's still a usable pan because <laughs> God, I hope I didn't mess this up. Okay, and I'm starving, so I don't have another pan that I can use to fry my egg. So at least I didn't burn down the apartment. Good job on that. Yay. I'll come back to you when I hopefully figure the thing out, but I'll be back, okay? Okay, I think the pan looks okay. I washed it now and Let's try frying an egg and hope for the best because honestly Hope I have very little so let's see how that will go. I'll put you right here so you can watch as I cook Okay, let's do this It is slightly burned, but that's on me. But it didn't stick. Yes, I did add oil though, so that is important. So. Oh, I love this. Okay, let me put it in a pan, in a plate. Okay, okay, let's do this. No, it broke, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, it doesn't look the best, but this is my first try, so can't expect a lot. Should I just put the meat without? Let's do it like this. Let me show you. It's not perfect, but this is the first result, so I can't have too many pretenses. Okay, look at this. The expectations were low, but I succeeded. Yes. I should have made the salad before I did this, but... <laughs> Let me quickly make the salad and then I'll finally be able to eat. Yes, love that. Okay. The bread is sweet. God damn it. I was like, ah. Oh. As soon as I tried a bite, I was like, god damn it. I don't even know what I can eat with it. It's so sweet. I don't know why they make it sweet, but it's just so sweet. So, I guess I'll have to make my own bread. <laughs> The problems of being European and Asia can psych. First world problems, really. But the dinner's great. I love it. Really good. I just give the earth my soul. Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls.